Hi, welcome to an in-depth demo of Glyphic. Here we will walk you through all the features in detail. So let's begin. Glyphic enables you to either manually respond to the contacts who have messaged you by typing and sending a message from here. You can see all the contacts, unread messages, contacts who you have not replied to, or those who have not responded to you. To create automated conversations, you need to go into flows. These can be triggered by keywords sent by the user. For this demonstration, I'll show you a previously created flow. Flows can be created simply by connecting these blocks together based on the automated conversation you'd like to design. The two main blocks for you to note are send message and wait for response. You can format the text. You can add attachments such as video, audio, image, documents, or even add different language support for that message. Simply by translating and pasting the message in the same block. End users will respond to you based on the message you craft in the send message block. Like here, you expect the user to respond 1, 2, 3 or 4 as per their choice. Then, wait for response gives you 4 subflows to send specific messages based on option the user selected, allowing you to create personalized and guided conversations. You can also prepare for scenarios when a user sends you a message other than what you expected or when they don't respond. For both cases, you can send different customized messages. For example, when they don't respond, you can nudge them in 15 minutes. This time interval is customizable here. So this way, you can continue to create your automated conversation flow by joining more of send message and wait for response blocks. There are many other features to manage conversations, such as labeling a user's response, you can connect it to the wait for response block. Labels give you data points such as how many people needed urgent help. You can also search all the contacts who needed urgent help so that you can reach and respond to them faster. You can also put the contacts in a collection so that you can categorize them based on their preferences and choices. Here, all the contacts choosing visual art option will be put in the visual arts collection. You can then send visual art related content or message to these contacts. You will need to create collections prior to creating this block. We will cover that in a bit. You can also choose to save certain information pertaining to the user, which you can reference in the conversations, such as their interest, their name, age, gender, etc. For that, you need to link update contact block after the wait for response block. You can also notify your staff members on WhatsApp about certain conversations. For that, you can use the send broadcast block. You can enter the message and the staff members you'd like to send the message to at this instance of the conversation flow. If you'd like to delay sending an automated message, you can use a wait for time block to delay the next message by certain hours or minutes. There are some other features available too, such as writing your webhooks in between flows and extend the features the way you like. You can split a flow by collection, such as if you want to send different messages to contacts in different collections. To make your flow available to your end users, you'll need to publish it. But before publishing, you can click on preview button to experience how it's working. You can simulate end users responses to test the flow. If you want to undo any changes, you can click on this revision history button and go to previous save states. There are three types of messages format you can send to a user, simple text message, interactive message, or an HSM template. Interactive message allows you to send up to three buttons and list of op 10 options to choose from. And HSM templates allow you to message a user after 24 hour service window. You can go into the templates message screen to create a new one or pre edit previous ones. This is the format of a reply button based on interactive message as defined by WhatsApp. You have a title, the message body, the buttons, and attachment is optional. You can include variables in the body so that each user gets a personalized message. 
You also have the option to list messages, which can contain up to 10 options to choose from. Interactive messages are a part of session messages, hence they do not need to be approved by WhatsApp. Template messages also allow buttons, but they have to be pre-approved by WhatsApp. You can create and submit a new message for approval from Glyphic. These messages are required to nudge the users to continue conversations if the service window closes. To create a collection, you can go into the collection screen, add a title and description. You can also assign a specific staff member to manage contacts in a particular collection. You can also configure the staff to access only the contacts present in this collection instead of all contacts. Any number of staff members can join you to manage the conversations on Glyphit. All the staff who request to join can be seen here and the admin can give them the relevant access. You can read about the access levels here. You also have the ability to schedule messages to your end users with the feature called triggers. When you create a new trigger, you can choose one of the flows, a duration for the trigger, a time, repeatability, and the contacts you want to send it to. Once saved, the messages will be sent at the defined times. Other than these main features, you also have the ability to record and send a voice message from the interface. Start a flow manually in case a specific user gets stuck, add them to collection from the chat screen, clear their conversation or block them if someone sends unsolicited messages. You can also see the time available to you to respond to the user before the service window closes. You can see which staff member a contact is assigned to and which collections they're a part of. You can send a message to all the contacts in a collection at once from here. The staff member can change the interface language to the one they are most comfortable in. You can also refer to the support documents at any time here to learn about a feature. Our support channels are also highly responsive and we get back to your queries within a couple of hours. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.